Welcome to Live at the Blue Box. It is now time for This Week in Geek. Woo. We have decided to do it in the third slot this week so that those of you that are here for Doctor Who get to uh, see this show, which is one of our most popular. So uh, I don't know why. It's because no, I'm, I'm on it. It's, be, it's, it's because of all me. It's all me. I'm, Thank I you was very say much. It's all Edward. It's that all well, it's Edward's Edward. puppet, though. The those Edward are our highest ratings. Certainly the most popular thing for me. <laughs> those are the uh, highest rated shows we've ever had. <laughs> it's October Edward 3rd, 2015. This is the Geek News for the Week. Who has one to start us off? Oh, let's introduce ourselves. We're going to mix it up. You start. Hello, my name is Edward Lee, co-host of This Week in Geek and co-host of Superfight. Superfight. Yeah. You're the non-host of Superfight after today. Super, Superfly? Superfly. <laughs> Superfreak? Superfly, Superfly TNT. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Mushroom Conley and Bleeper Bleeper. <laughs> Bleeper Bleeper. Oh, Edward Snooker. Now. <laughs> All right. And uh, next to you is? <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a Lil Kanitza. I do the League of Geeks podcast. And that's Geeks with a Z. As because well as, they are dyslexic? Nope, because we're hip hop. And it's sports geeks as well. You thought you beat your jokes to death. Go ahead. Always. Uh, enough said, as, as well as this. Yes. Does that have a Z in it? Enough said's. Z yes. Z that's, is that's that. That's when in the Jack's 80s we were, we were actually like enough's enough, and we had a Z then. But <laughs> we got rid of it now. <laughs> enough's enough. Or was not was. It's, was could, not was, You yes. could do it, so that's all right. Um, and you my, are. My name is Chris Mao. I am co-owner of Blue Box Cafe and host of, co-host of several Lots of several stuff. things. Stuff. And Stuff. I'm Rob Southgate, co-owner we'll of Southgate Media Group. Stuff. And uh, follow me on Twitter at rsouthgate. See, I got my plug in there. And go to our website, southgatemediagroup.com. Shameless right. plug-in. Shameless plug. Let's do no, it. Who's there, got the first story? There was lots of shame, but it was a plug anyway. <laughs> All right. Uh, that, is, that was Rob's nickname in high school, the shameless, shameless plug. plug. <laughs> That's what, was, what was your nickname earlier? What was it? I we don't were know. talking. It was a good one. It was something filthy, I bet. Yes, I'm sure. I, th- I think that's what uh, Alil's uh, hair is called now, shameless plugs. So <laughs> I wish. I need it. <laughs> All I'm right. not just a member. I'm a client. <laughs> I'm just a member. And, and the co-owner. No, Alil, you are a member. I just want to say that right now. I'll put that out there. All right. Oh, Who's got the first one? <laughs> oh my. I got one. Sure. <laughs> the... This is the first time all four of us have been together in a while. I'm very punchy. <laughs> he is. He, he said he was going to assault you today, but he did it earlier. <laughs> right. So. All right. Wait, so, wait. All right salt or assault? Salt. Never mind. Never mind. I was making a he's, joke. He's too young. He doesn't get it. Go ahead, Edward. What do you got? So, uh, have you seen, we talked about last Deadpool. time, the trailer for Jungle Book? They released the full Oh, the full yes. trailer? Yeah, I didn't watch it. Did you guys trailer. watch it? I did. Did anyone else? I, I, I haven't seen I the did. full one. I you saw did? the full trailer, yeah. I, was, I, thought it was, I thought it was excellent. I am. I did also. Looking, I'm really looking forward to this mm-hmm. movie. Yeah. Especially the, with the snake. They did a great job with the voiceover with the snake. Did, did we get to hear Baloo's voice in this trailer? No. Nope. You, you, d- you didn't see... You saw Vin him, Diesel. You saw him twice. No, Bill Murray. Oh, Bill Murray. You saw him twice in the is. trailer. First time, he was fighting monkeys. Okay. And the second time, he was whistling... They got Peter Tork out on film. <laughs> Peter Tork? Oh, he was fighting this? Peter Tork? Are we doing what? shots? What? what? What did you bring me? Shots, Somebody buy shots, a shot? Shots, shots, shots. What's this? Why? Oh, uh, okay. Who got a shot of vanilla? Well, I want some shots too. Is that going mine? I'm gonna do shots with Edward. Who got <laughs> gummy bears? Who got, who got jelly babies? A little. You get jelly babies? What's up? He got them too. We're, really? Sugar rush. Nope. All right. I, I so, needed something to wake up. <laughs> that was my rush. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to watch rush. this trailer. I I uh, I thought the first what? trailer yeah. was fantastic. No, th- this one's really good because they did. When the, does it come out? Uh, March to the internet. February, March. March. February, March. Yeah, it's released. Yeah, really. I thought it was coming out like I would think that would be like a Christmas movie. You know? No, no, it's coming out in the spring. All right. Well, it looks good. It. Um, The 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 teaser that we saw a couple weeks ago that we talked about. Yeah. Was fantastic. So loved it. It's gonna be it's gonna be great. And Bill Murray's in it. So that's a five. That's a four star waiting to go down or go up from there. So yeah, and they did. So, Mowgli, you know, I've got eternal uh, happiness, so I got that going for me. Got that going. Carl! <laughs> um, if we're going to go on trailers, did anybody see the trailer for The Revenant? I saw it in the theater. Was there a yeah. new one released? No, it, it, but someone there. It they're... is amazing. Have you seen it? I, I have seen it. Leonardo DiCaprio, Tom yes, Hardy. Yes, oh, yes. Oh, my I was God. very confused at first. I'm like, wait, who is who? Wait, yeah, what? Yeah, exactly. And then, and then I'm like, oh, oh, 
with Barry Leo. Oh, yeah. 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 It looks amazing. It looks good. good. It, it, and I didn't, I didn't hear anything about it. I heard that there was a movie called The Revenant coming out. No idea what it is. And then we, you see it, and you're like, oh, my gosh. When, it looks great. When we saw uh, Mission Impossible, it was the trailer. Mm-hmm. It, they showed that, and they showed Black Mass. And I was, yeah. I was blown away. I mean, I'm like, okay, these two are going to be up for Oscars. Yeah. I mean, amazing. This well, might be the time Leo wins, finally. I don't know. I watched The Martian. Oh, yes. yes. We'll talk, we've got to talk about that in another Matt few minutes. Damon. Well, this is pretty <laughs> early. He wasn't, even, he wasn't even the best guy in that movie, but and he was pretty, phenomenal. I know. Yeah, I agree. This is pretty early to be saying this about Oscars when, yeah. I mean, let's face it, they usually release right at the end of the year, and they get all that buzz and everything going. Oh, these, are, these movies look amazing. Yeah, they do. Right, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm intrigued by, by it because it, it's, something, it's something that we, I don't think we've seen Leo do in a long time. No. You know, get kind of down and down and dirty. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Leo's been kind of in that role of the smarmy, businessy. Like he did Wolf of Wall Street. Well, even in Django, I mean. Yeah. Yeah, but know. like smarmy. Well, yeah, but Django is definitely. I, the, I think that's a, who it was, but I think he's a fantastic actor, and the, I've loved him in the those part things. That he was kind of that. But to tough, see him in this tough guy. Yeah, I think that was the last time that, that like he blew me away with a performance was the the Departed. Right. Oh my gosh. Black, Speaking of Black Mass, I mean... The, yeah, oh, he's amazing in that. What's Eating Gilbert Grape was actually the last time he completely blew me out. That was amazing performance. You yeah. didn't think that was amazing? No. Did you realize he wasn't, like, special needs? Yes. I didn't know. I didn't know who he was. I watched Growing Pains. I didn't. <laughs> I didn't watch oh Growing God. Pains. <laughs> Leo, Leo's <laughs> crossing off his IMDb hey, hey, his petition for that to be <laughs> Edward has growing pains right now, so let's be sensitive oh, yeah, sorry, to our, uh, hey, are you our a, co-host. Do you have a chin hair now? Why are you, no. Are you, why, is he growing why, chin hair? Why are you blushing, Edward? What's wrong? Because I have no idea what you're Are you trying to be a scuzzy about. podcaster like the rest of us? <laughs> he, he's never heard of growing pains. He's like, what is that? <laughs> who is Mike Seaver? <laughs> no, he'd know it because, well, he wouldn't know that, but he I, knows who his son is. It's... uh. It's Randy Quaid. No, what's his name? The, the, one, the one who did that song where he dressed like Beetlejuice. Randy Quaid. No, who plays Peter Seaver? Who plays Tom Seaver? Who plays That's that guy? The, the dead, you mean? Yeah. Uh, Alan uh, Thicke. Robin Alan Thicke. Thicke. Alan, Alan, Alan Thicke. Thicke, Thicke Alan right? Thicke and his son Robin, yeah. Probably. I knew if I threw enough names, I'd get one of them right. He does that song with uh, Pharrell, hey. but I yeah. forgot the song name. Hey, yes. hey, hey, hey. Yeah. Oh, that hey, song. Hey, hey, hey. Yep. Blurry That's lines. annoying. Blurred lines. Blurred lines, thank you. That was a good song. His dad was the dad on ripped off everything about it, but it's okay. <laughs> okay. So did Vanilla Ice, but that's okay. Hey, man, Vanilla Ice is though is awesome. You bet. It's, it's my jam. It's my theme <laughs> hey, song. And did you see, you know, since we're doing trailers, Spectre, the fi- the last one. Oh, oh my gosh. gosh. Oh, it looks amazing. Yes. Oh, my, oh, my God. Just, just back up the truck and give Daniel Craig whatever he wants to come back. Yes. Oh, yeah. like, Absolutely. Back it up. Like, I've never said this about any, even Connery toward the end. I'm like, yeah, you know, watching the movies, I'm like, yeah, it's fine if you didn't come back. Yeah, you, know, you weren't alive while. when Connery was. No, but I'm saying you watch <laughs> the series. What are you talking about? You watch the Neither movie. Neither was Sean Connery, and, but that's and, okay. And, and, and you look at it and you're like, Except you for Never tell. Say Never. You saw that one. I've seen Never Say I did. But you, you look at awesome. him and toward the end you're like, it does, at this point they're phoning it in. Yeah, Tiny yeah, Craig yeah, does not look like he's phoning oh, it no. in. Nope, correct. He's not phoning it in yet. And like that's, but do you want him to or do you want it to end when he's like this amazing? I, I think you I do. I think he's got more amazing yeah. left. Yeah, I think you could probably get another hey, couple that would be just well, astounding. If, if Tom Cruise can do a Mission Impossible like he just did, oh Daniel Craig has yeah. got 20 more years to do, or 10 yeah, more true. years of doing this. Are well, you yeah, excited? With how, with how I, yes, I am. Stuff. I'm yeah. really excited with this. Hope. Did you watch the trailer? I've can not. you see it? It's Christopher Waltz as the bad guy. Oh, my yeah. God. How, uh, does it get better? I mean, yeah. four stars. If Brad Pitt showed up being like a crazy... Yeah. Nazi killer. <laughs> Nazi. Nazi. <laughs> okay. How about Tarantino doing a Bond e- e- movie? Eli Roth shows crazy? up. Tarantino, Tarantino doing, doing, doing a Bond, Bond movie. movie. Oh, my God. <laughs> well, actually, there that was be... rumors of that happening at one point. Well, that that would there's be... rumors of a lot. I'm Tarant- actually glad that didn't happen. He also was opting to do a Star Wars movie. Did you know that? Yeah, there, there was, the, there was talks of that. There was talks yes. of him doing a Marvel movie. There was talks of a lot of things. Yeah, and, what, and the thing he was supposed to, he, he, he was attached initially to direct Iron Man oh, with wow. Tom Cruise. Yeah, way right. back when New Line Cinema had the oh, rights. Wow. We would not have the no. MCU that we have. No, we no. wouldn't. It would have been an interesting movie, but we would it not have been. this. Oh, it, John Travolta appears out of nowhere. Sam Jackson, 
At least Sam Jackson would still be <laughs> there. Jackson, I mean, he would still how, be how did, there. How did Tim Roth get in the movie? I don't know. So. <laughs> Well, right. or, or Buscemi. Tim Roth. How did Buscemi get in this movie? Steve I don't know. Buscemi. But Tim Roth was the, abomina- uh, the abomination in yeah. the Hulk. And, so and you know yeah, what? Yeah. You merged it all together. But if that had happened, <laughs> Buscemi would have been Bruce Banner. That would have oh, been amazing. Was, imagine that. He's just like all frail and ah, freaking out. <laughs> but Uma Thurman would have been Black Widow, and that would have not been the same. Oh, I, think you, I think she could have pulled it off back then. Back then, yeah, she killed Bill. But, but come look on, at, come but, on, dude. That's, but look at, she's fantastic. She wouldn't be pulling Bill. it off the way Scarlett Johansson is now. Well, th- but again, we're talking Have you about seen her now? a decade apart. Who? You, Uma, uh, Uma. Or Scarlett. I, as, as a phrase like, that I've used before, she's is, forty-five. She's, a little she's longer as old than as two. you are. Yeah, she's. Exactly. I'm older, but <laughs> I was going to say, don't, don't give Rob that exactly. kind of credit. Exactly. Like, Wait a minute, you're older. What are you talking about? I look good. Although you look good in that yellow jumpsuit. You do. I have one at home. None you have of your you. old Hanzo Hattori sword? That's all, yeah, that's all right. you need. It's all doesn't know what any of this is, do yeah. you? Nope. Dude, nope. You've never seen Kill Bill? No, he hasn't oh, seen no. a Tarantino you movie. See oh, that? my gosh. His mom's not here. You want to watch it tonight? We're going to go. Here, we're going to do, we're gonna do <laughs> a We need to do right a Quentin. <laughs> that's watching what Glorious be, Bastards. Quentin it's a history lesson. <laughs> it's what really happened to Hitler. It's... It is the truth. Like the producers. <laughs> it's <laughs> springtime for Hitler. Right. It's <laughs> All right, let's move on. Are we, wow. What show are we doing? Let's move on. We're doing, we're doing the show in Rob I, and Chris's I, I, head. I kept Rob on track as much as possible last night. <laughs> I got another one. Like now he's <laughs> no. just like, I've got to let it go. I've got to go all over the place. I've got to get it all there. out. Um, I got another trailer. Let's talk one more trailer. Did you guys watch the big short trailer? I did not. No, I no. Not. Okay, this is Adam McKay has a movie coming out. It's starring, all I knew is Christian Bale was in it. It's got Christian Bale, oh. Steve Carell, Brad Pitt, Ryan Gosling. Once again, this could be a Steve Carell Oscar nomination. Yeah. This trailer, at first I'm like, okay, it's the, you know, the, the bank crisis and Citibank stealing money. Okay, right. I've seen this kind of thing. I thought it was going to be another one of these. Same writer as Moneyball. Mm-hmm. Adam McKay directing it. I thought, we'll see. Yeah. We get about 30 seconds into the trailer and I'm like, take my money. Yeah. This looks amazing. Now, is, Steve Carell is Gosling is on playing fire a, a jerky. He always Walter does. Guys. He's, oh, the he is. <laughs> Gosling's the worst. He is. the worst. We hate him. What's Christian Bale playing? Us ugly guys hate Ryan Gosling. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> as we're going, man. <laughs> I wish I looked like tenth as good as him. So. Um, yeah, because you know what? Oh wait, wait. Here's we, the we, just like, got a, Chris, we just got a text. I have to interrupt. Uh, from a Ruth Lee, no Tarantini movies for Edward. She, Tarantino's okay. She said no Tarantini. Yeah, no yeah. Tarantini. <laughs> Tarantini, <laughs> no problem. So you are okay Here's Kill for Bill. Glorious Bastards. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll I'm going to start him slow. We'll I'm going to get him so, Kill Bill. <laughs> but so, uh, so but a little will track, dance the Tarantini of all for of you. His, so. Of all of his movies, which one could Edward see? And I'm going to contend that it's Pulp Fiction. And that might be one of his most violent movies. Tarantino, that might be the only movie Edward could watch right now. I don't think he could watch that one. I think if it was one, it would have to be one. Jackie that... Brown? No. No. No? I don't think. No, he... you he... know what? Django, he couldn't. He couldn't watch Kill Bill. True, I think Kill Bill, Romance. Kill Bill, I mean, it's, it's cartoon violence. Kill I think Bill. Kill Bill would be the one. He Actually, can handle you know violence. What? No, because no, no. I'm thinking Kill about, the, now, now I remember the hospital scenes. Yes. No, 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 no. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. Edward, no. You can't watch anything. No. Not until, you're, not until you're 35. Oh, okay. No. Sure. Yeah. A little all right. shot to the heart. It's okay. <laughs> That'd be all right. That's what, that language. should have been on the, the 85 best movie, your best videos. Shot to the heart. Shot to the heart, and I'm too blind. Stop, you're stop, blame? stop. Thanks. Um, okay. Oh, my God. Sorry. All right. Sorry, sir, you're in the wrong. Uh, this was big news here. this week. I want to do this big. one. Big news. Um, oh, and Ruth, big, it's big, a typo. So big, no big. Tarantino. Uh, Too late. She already committed. HBO oh, is <laughs> in talks to do a Watchman no, no, series. No. There was rumors of talks. Watchmen. There wasn't talks. Right. Watch- rumors of talks. Rumors of Men. talks. Watchmen. What did I say? Watchman. Watchman. Whatever. <laughs> like, I want to see that he, Watchman. He did watch the man. That's <laughs> yeah. what he's saying. It's Watchman. Whoa. Watchman? Uh, yeah. It's rumors of talks. But you know what? We know this just from this show. When we cover rumors like this, there is a seed of truth to it. They are talking about doing Watchmen. There is no way that's not in the works. Oh, yeah, it's got to be. Will it happen? I think it's ripe for it. Look at those, that comic book series. They did a before Watchmen comic series. Mm-hmm. 
pretty good. There is a lot of material there. They, they have I the money, but want... do they have the format to do it? That's and what I, I watched. I liked Watchmen. I don't know if you guys did. I, I did. might be in the minority. You I did. liked it, but you know what? I don't want Zack Snyder anywhere near this. I, I don't. I, I, like the, I like the comic. I didn't like the movie. I think, th- I think they did a better job with the ending in the movie, but I love the comic. The giant I, I, I octopus... Think this is... Not this is favorite. this is a ripe series for HBO to pick up because it's it an is. adult graphic novel, right? Where or adult comic series? Hey, where is you Cinemax can do, doing this or huh? H, is Cinemax or HBO doing this? HBO, HBO. HBO but you know what? Oh, no, no, Cinemax. no. You're when That's you right, said that will, is it adult? Did you guys read the, the the memo this week about Westworld? Oh yes, fantastic. Where they, they put the writer of what what the the thing is now. Westworld. Remember that movie? Okay, they're making a TV show out of it. Looks incredible. That's but then before you read anybody's the time. Except of what they had to I sign. Was say it's before my time. And it's like I know it, but you are never seeing this show. It is the filthiest sounding thing. It's like, why does it have to be this graphic? Yeah. Game of Thrones. That's why. Yeah, Cal- but Game of Caligula. Thrones backed off of that's it too. True. Pretty much. I mean, Caligula could be on regular TV now. That's what they're making the, this. That's. I, I own that. No. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right, you have the Blu-ray. You watch the director's director's cut. <laughs> the 3D Blu-ray. Oh. <laughs> the light. Gross. Oh. The play. <laughs> yeah. Hello, uh, this is for so, kids. We got to talk. So about yeah, it. I think I think HBO. As much as I like these HBO shows, I think that that they got to be careful of becoming this generation Skinamax. I yeah. mean, if this is what they're putting in everything that they're trying to force this, it's like you know what that. I know that I'm in the minority on this, but that is actually the worst part of Game of Thrones. Mm-hmm. I don't mind it, right. but it's it's like when it's just gratuitous, it's there for... There are scenes in Game of Thrones that you watch it and you go, did we need five minutes of this? There's no story to it. Yeah, things are yeah. bouncing around, and yeah, that's fun. But you know what? It's not... Well, if you, if you use it as what a... what it's there for. And Westworld right. should be the same way. If you use it as a little statement to say this is just kind of the way it was... Will. Yeah. Gosh, that's a little, bad. I, I don't that's want a Game of Thrones. Statement. So I, I, Game of Thrones is such a good story. They don't need to do that, they but don't they, need, they, they throw they it in there. But I hear the, the, actor, show. Uh, the actresses they hate it. Oh, yeah. Right. So why would you do that? You know, yeah. It, to okay, be difficult, whatever. That's why. But, but Westworld, yes, have, it, have an element of it. I don't care. You know, that's what they, their, their thing is. But, but when you read that writer, it's like, what's the focus of this? Are we going to focus on the story and character development and right. all the things that make Thrones great? and make Breaking Bad great, or are we just going to have a TNA show? And that's what it looks like. Sure. And you're never, ever, ever watching it. Probably not. Nope. You will have to cover your eyes in the Baby Bjorn. Edward Puppet can watch it, though, with us. Edward Puppet is going to watch it <laughs> and, he and has, have a blast. That's, that's... And he has with Rob, which is scary. Ed, Edward <laughs> Puppet is like Ted for our show. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I thought he was five or six. When you, when was you're he not five even... or six? Who? Edward Puppet. He's like five. No, but he's like Ted. Like he's yeah. drinking. And yeah. yeah. <laughs> Smoking. He's your thunder buddy. <laughs> thunder buddy. Right. Who's got one? Oh, my God. Uh, I, I, got, I got a Marvel one, of course, because that's, that's my go-to. I've never heard of it. What's Marvel? Um, ABC's ordering a half-hour sitcom for damage control. Okay. I want to throw this out here right now. Jenny, you'll appreciate this. This was a mark my words at one point. I called this in the first season of Nuff Said that they should be making this happen. And a little hurt it when he was just a super fan. Don't encourage him. It was. And here it is. If you throw out a million of those, one's going to stick. I I get a lot that stick. I'm very (laughs) sticky. (laughs) I'm like a sticky bomb. Somebody's writing about Rom the Space Knight coming back, too. (laughs) Yes. I know. that happens, I'm going to leave it. Chris. If you listen to Nuff Said, as crazy as it sounds, I get so many of these wacky things right. And, and you, you even like Charlie one. makes fun of me, that's, and then I'm right. You have another one right this that's week. That's because people Wolverine your three. age and your insanity are in charge. That's right. They go, hey, what's the craziest idea we can one? come Wait, up with? Wait, Edward has one. He, he has another one he got right. It was Wolverine 3 is going to be a old man Logan movie. That, it's, I don't get that one right. We all said that was going to happen. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, no, I'll take credit. You said that before. I did say it way before. This is his last one. I know, but 
that that news has been out for like four months. Yeah. I was like, where really? have you been? <laughs> Edward, Puppet, Edward Puppet reported on that in January. I don't know what you guys are talking about. No, so, so back, January. This back. just in. <laughs> Taco, oh, taco, I wish I could taco. get the Edward Puffin up less, right um, now. Less Nesbitt, Edward Puffin. Yes. No, but back to damage control. What I, what I like about this, it's a half-hour sitcom. So it's, it's going to be part of, like, all the Marvel Universe. It's going to be very comedic. Right, and what they I'm are is they're gonna, the cleanup crew. Yeah. Right, and if you, yeah. Don't, yeah, if you don't know, they've, they've actually had some parts in uh, the Disney cartoons that are going mm-hmm. on right now on uh, Disney XD. They've been in them, and it's really funny watching them. Like, yeah. Spider-Man's actually had to be a part of damage control as punishment for, like, destroying a city block. So has and Agents so, of hey, S.H.I.E.L.D. They, they need to have that. When's, when's oh, uh, the Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. from Thor? Oh, uh, sure. yeah. yeah, they did it on, on yeah. Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. So here's the Never. deal. <laughs> the reason I think this has come forward is I think this has been in development, but I think the reason this has come forward is because of that D.C. show where they're doing, like, the, the newspaper or whatever. Right. And guess what? If they make this a flat-out comedy and get it right, it's going to make that other one look foolish. Now, do I think DC typically does better with its shows than, than Marvel? Marvel's working on it. Marvel kicked everybody's butt with Daredevil, so I think they own yeah. that. And S.H.I.E.L.D. this season is shaping up. Well, we got one episode. As one episode, as, but you know what? It, it was a good episode. You know what? It was be- S.H.I.E.L.D. last season was better than Arrow last season. So yeah. I, I think yeah, that, that, that Arrow's coming back strong. I think, I think damage control could be them saying, you know what? This fits our mold because here's their model, and this is why it works there. We've said this before. Marvel takes every one of their properties, and this is why their TV didn't work. They take their properties, and they make something. You, they, they, they model it off of something else. Captain America was a spy thriller. Uh, Guardians of the Galaxy was their space opera. Like, they're taking these genre, these overarching tropes from TV and making each one something different. Make a sitcom. Agents yeah. of Shield didn't have that. No. no, it was it was it was just it, if they made it CSI in the Marvel universe, it would have been better. If they make it now, they're making it a superhero in human show. It's going to be better. That's where their strength is, and that's where they beat the other guys. Mm-hmm. I think Damage Control could work. They get the right writers and they take the sitcom approach. We got a winner. You think they'll do you mark think they'll my do, words? Mark, you think they'll do like an office approach with it? No. Yeah, I mean, it's ABC. I mean, they're doing it right now with the Muppets. Yeah. Right, they're doing yeah. like it seems like everything. The Muppets, it, Modern Family. I'll tell you why they that won't. Train wreck is all I have to say. Yeah, it's Muppets. Awful. I'll awful. tell you why they won't. Awful. I'll tell you why they won't. Exactly that. The Muppets thing. They're making it sound like it's really popular. All the reviews are saying there's a tone issue. There's something wrong here. The Office. People got tired of that by the end. I, I can't watch well, Modern Family anymore I, because they they ran that concept right. into the ground. If they do that here. It's not. It's going to be like old hat. After the you office can't went keep through, going right. back to that well, and I don't think Marvel will. I think Marvel will take a different approach. I think I they'll so. do a sitcom that's something. Let's see, what would be more of a sitcom approach to this? Because it's got to fit in the MCU at the same time. Yeah. Three's Company. No, I'm teasing. Please, that'd be <laughs> awesome. Not gonna do. Who would be Mr. Roper? That's all I have to know. Edward. Not, not, that'd be great. Me. <laughs> Edward, Ed- Puppet. <laughs> Edward Puppet. Edward Puppet. Edward Puppet will be Mr. Roper, and Edward will be Jack Tripper. It's Ooh. a very trippy show. <laughs> He's talking to himself. <laughs> oh, Edward, make it happen. If <laughs> the word ascot, it would be great. That would be fantastic. He's got one. Do you have an ascot? Yeah, Mr. Nope. Mr. Yep. Mr. Furley, Mr. Furley comes Furley. in. Mr. I bet Furley. your dad has an ascot. Does John have an ascot? He I think, doesn't. I think that's Rob. Oh, Rob will be Mr. Furley. Speaking wear, of Marvel. We're bell bottoms. and <laughs> Speaking of Marvel. <laughs> Leisure suits. Leisure so suits. anybody a fan of Marvel one-shots? You know those little... On the, on the DVDs, on the Blu-rays, yeah. they, they do these things called one-shots. They were just these little, like, 10-minute short films. They're really good. They stopped doing them. One of the reasons they stopped doing them is because you're putting all this money into this little 10-minute thing that's only an extra on a Blu-ray. People are doing digital downloads. They're not buying Blu-rays now the same way. Why put that money in? You've already got the universe built. But... And they also the, said... The Marvel also, one-shots, go ahead. They also said that because they have Howard the Duck and Cosmos, they've already done that. Having three movies every year, they're not going to uh, focus on those movies. They're just making them, then leaving what, them. That's what, because they're going... That's what this is about. Kevin Feige said, and this here's the deal. Now that he's not answering to Marvel, he's answering to Disney, he has a little more freedom to do this kind of stuff. Marvel is the one that pulled the plugs on the one-shots. 
Disney likes them mm-hmm. because they can oh. make little one shots of things all day long. Cool. It's more toys to sell. On. Yeah. Yes, more toys, more things to play with in their sandbox. And, and it they gives them a reason shot. to buy the Blu rays. Right. They, yes. Exactly. They did a one shot for Agent Carter. Guess what that turned into? A show. Sure, yeah. A show that's good. Well, do a one shot of Howard Grindhouse. the Duck. They don't have to do a Howard the Duck movie. They do a little one shot. And that's if it's true. cool and it works, all of a sudden there's a demand for it. Yeah. They don't have to do a 10-episode run on Netflix. They do a one-shot. Give us a 10-minute Howard the Duck movie. We'll be satisfied. But if it's good, we want more. Right? Right? Yes. I think this is great. So that came out this week, too. I'm having a stroke. I had too much caffeine, and I'm too excited. (laughs) (laughs) Stroke, 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 I'm going to do the Tarantini now. Stroke. Stroke. (laughs) Who's got one? If you donate, if you hit the donate button... (laughs) Hit the Rob will have to pay for my stroke air. medication. <laughs> Everybody gives a dollar and more caffeine gets pumped into you through the IV. That would be <laughs> cool. It's like, like a morphine drip. Like, you know what? Caffeine. Now you know what I've got going on at home when I'm editing. People wonder That's how I edit true. 19 shows in a day. Yeah. Caffeine drip. Have you done this? Have you done that yet? What? Are you not paying Strange. attention? Okay. What is it? Dr. Strange. Dr. Origins. Strange. Origin story. Have you done that yet? I, you know what? You're on a podcast. You I don't want to use the mic. Not, all right. Sure. <laughs> I wasn't gonna say I wasn't gonna say how stupid I look. I'll have to but say, okay. bring it. Go I ahead. guess I have to. So they're releasing that Doctor Strange is going to be an origin story. Which What do you guys think? I think I, they kinda I have to. Yeah, Why I, not? They they I, have to with what the character is. I figured and you know, but it doesn't have to be an origin story like your typical origin story. Yeah. Like he doesn't have it. It could be something that works in flashback sequence that he might be already and then explaining right. it to somebody coming mm-hmm. in. What had happened? Because you're going to have to explain a lot in Doctor Strange. You know his relationship with um, uh, Baron Mordo, his relationships throughout the movie, and it's there's it's a, a lot of setup that doc- has to go exactly. on here. And, and they're going to open up so much with Doctor Strange. The other thing that, is that I think you need it, but yeah. I don't think they're going to do flashbacks. I think they're going to do like he's a kid and he goes to. He meets. Do you think they're going to do that? I don't know if they're going to do the like, kid thing. I think they're going to be doing jumps. They're not going to be doing flashbacks. They're going to go, he's this, now he's this old, and a few be. minutes in, that's when the story starts, and you, that's his kind of origin I, story. I think the origin is going to be him older, but it's going to tell the, the story of him evolving into Doctor Strange very uh-huh. quickly, because he was a surgeon, yeah. and then all this stuff. I think right. it's going to be from that point. I don't know if we're going to get the kid Strange. Yeah, well, not, not the um, kid, but... That sounded bad. Uh, <laughs> but I will say <laughs> that... <laughs> he does exist in the MCU already. They've made reference to him. Mm-hmm. So I think that they won't, it won't be like ending at the point we're at in the MCU. I think that it will have origin and then we'll have a story concurrent to what's going on. Right. Okay. I, I, that's, what I, that's what I mean, like in flashback, like in flashback with the timeline of the MCU. Mm-hmm. Because I don't think at this point in 20, where is this going to be coming out? 2016. Yeah, that that's when he will start being Doctor Strange. I think it's going to be something that, and who knows? Maybe it started at the point of uh, Captain America: Winter Soldier. At that point, something could have happened in that timeline right. that would have left okay. him to here to where he is, Doctor Strange, and we got more because mm-hmm. you know we they've already opened this up to the the microverse and all that kind of stuff, which I think they're going to incorporate with Doctor yes, Strange. Yes, they will with the microverse. Mm-hmm. Is this a mark my words? Here come the one? Micronauts and round the space night. <laughs> I'm gonna win Marvel. Ah. It's so awesome. Nope. And you get hey. and you get this napkin for guessing. I get a Laurel and Hardy <laughs> handshake. <Okay. laughs> Just as crappy as we give on our game shows. <laughs> so uh, all Even right. Better, so. Do, you, do you have one or I got I got a I, I, I got one. Doctor yeah. Who announced this week that they are gonna do a spin-off, a young a, a Y and A uh, spin-off called Class. Um, basically built off the the school that Clara, that Clara, the, teach the, that. The and, Clara and teaches that, and Ian Chesterson is the headmaster. Right. Who well, is, and, and the very first episode of Doctor Who, the very first, right. started at Cold School. And, yeah, and the 50th was And the 50th, there. yeah. 50th was started So it's there. an important place, and they're going to do like a YA thing. They said it's kind of like Buffy. It's not right. Doctor Who. It's like a Buffy-type series. It, it's related, but not, yeah. Now, that's going to be on BBC Three, so we don't know if we're going to get it here Eventually, Wait. it'll end up on, like, Netflix. Are you saying no, it's not going to be? Oh, you're saying no because you're eating potatoes. We chips. don't know yet. They'll, they'll, the, the thing is, Doctor Who Are is... Are those the jalapeno ones? What is this Doctor oh. Who you speak of? This, <laughs> what is wow. this blue box? What is this Doctor Who <laughs> well, you speak uh, of? Well, well here, here's, the, here's the problem. Ratings in England are dropping, 
And they Ooh, are box. skyrocketing in, in America. And since yes. we have ten times as many people here, yeah, BBC they're gonna put, is it, put, put, put money into it and making it a little bit more American, which may well, or may not be good. You know what? By, by ruining, ruining it, it yes. Yeah. The other thing they could do at this point is they could cut a deal with an American production house to put more money behind it. Yeah. Well, keep the, it as a BBC property and put an American to help produce the American element of it. They well, could do the spinoff right. through America. Well, the, the whole issue, but I mean, like they did with Torchwood, Ameri- the, the Torchwood day. That didn't work because it, it was too American. You need right. an American producer, just like, like Disney has done with Marvel. You need somebody right. who's going to allow them to do their thing, but is going to front the money and get the property well, here. Well, that would be really interesting. Here, but don't the, take Doctor Who away. Right. Well, here's the issue is that now that they're going to be defunding the BBC through, you know, the way that works in England is they basically charge everybody a flat fee for TV programming, and they give the money to the BBC. Right. They're talking about eliminating that. Even though it's only like $25 a person, it's really weird. But people are, are fighting against that because they have to pay for cable and, what is it, IS4? There's like another yeah, yeah. Competing, competing with cable and all that stuff. So they're talking about defunding the BBC. So now the BBC is going to have to come up with actual money for right. that show. Which opens which, the door for, for collaboration. Right. Um, and did you hear that or IS4 or whatever, which is the BBC almost like, it's not BBC Netflix, but it's like a, a BBC mm-hmm. on-demand thing. Right. They're talking about that coming to America. That broke this week, which, too. Which would be great news. But, I mean, you know, they don't sell advertising the way we sell advertising, where right. advertisers, advertisers dictate programming. In, in England, they just say, either you advertise or you don't. It's you like public television with, right. with advertising that has no power. Right. Yeah. And so they, yeah. get, they get their money, and they say, we're going to charge you a million dollars for this. And they say, okay, whatever it is. So, so. so do you think that with, as you say, it's becoming so popular mm-hmm. here? That eventually we're going to get an American doctor? I don't think so no, because I think no. they tried it and it didn't work. It, it, it didn't work then, but right. now we understand it better. There are American fans. I think there are some fans of Doctor Who here, possibly. Who? Wait, wait, Anyone? what? Maybe? Doctor Who? What? Yeah. My wife is so, going to kill you just while you yeah. know. So. What is this so, Doctor Who you speak of? <laughs> who? So right what? there tells me it's it's just like with any of this stuff. Right. When you, when you have a, a generation influenced... They are going to do whatever they can to create their own. Right. Somebody, it might not be right away, but 10 years from now, 15 years from now, there will be, marking my words again, there will be an American Doctor Who show. Whether it is straight up Doctor Eventually. Who or a spinoff of some sort that is tied, it will happen. They'll do something no. like that, but they're... Will the TARDIS be red, white, and blue? No, no please. Please. The captain a yes. star on it, it'll be great. Yes. Um, oh. <laughs> I'm just joking. It'll be a, like a phone, bo- like like in Superman where it's that half phone booth. They'll be like, what the heck is up with this? Yeah. That's, that's the best line right. thing in that whole movie is like, the, what happened to the phone booths? But, right, right. Well, you know what? I, I hope it doesn't because like most things, we steal from other places and then claim it as our own in, yep. in terms of TV. Like, oh, The Office, that's a great American show. No, All the Family. It yeah. is basically word for yeah. word. All the Family was a British show. Yeah. It wasn't Friends as well? Yeah, something like yeah, you know, and, and they could have kept that one. They could. I love. You and I disagree with that. I, I love that. You just angered Brad. so many I, people. I still watch it. Yeah, I mean, but you know, if they can make it still, this British. is the one about Rob hating that show. Yeah, it is. You How about every deep okay. cut French Boo. show. Yeah. Boo. Joey, thanks. Good job. Yeah. yeah. I like but, Jennifer Aniston in that show for two reasons. <laughs> She's funny. All right. Uh, hello. All right. Wife, your wife is here. So. Anybody know who Robert Nepper is? Nope. Anybody know who Robert Nepper is? Anybody know the show Twin Peaks? Yes. They're doing a reboot of Twin Peaks or a, a, another series. David Lynch is doing it. Kyle McLaughlin, they're all back except the log lady who died this week. Who did? The log lady. Oh, oh that's right. Yes. That was but last week, wasn't it? Robert Nepper is on the show. Here's why this matters. He's teabag from Prison Break. He is <laughs> fan. Wait, what did you just say? He's teabag. His name's Teabag from Prison Break. Yes. Did you ever and, watch Prison and, Break? And yes. He yes was and yes. yes and yes, but <laughs> he's the best. Of course, you would love him. And he's going to be on <laughs> Twin Peaks. This is as teabag. Excellent is, news. Is Laura Flynn? Boyle no, but he back. was. He did play teabag on another show. Yeah. There's a show called Breakout Kings. And on one of the episodes, they had him playing T-Bag as if he had broken out of a prison. It's fantastic. T-Bag Bagwell, that's his name. Yep. All right. That's your new nickname, (laughs) too. It's it's good. All right. 
Who's got one? I got one. Uh, Sony is uh, in in development at Sony is a Ghostbusters animated movie. <laughs> No, no. So this will be the third Ghostbusters so movie that they're working on. Either this on. Ghostbusters thing is going to be amazing and it's going to own our world, or this is going to be the biggest it's, it's going to be such a flop. balloon of all time. Nope, it's going, it's going to be awful. No, it's not. The, yeah. movie, I don't know. I the think, movie is I, not going to be awful. I don't no, think the movie's no. going to be good. Not the, the regular other movie, movie but I, I don't I, know. And this animated thing, it's from the ghost perspective. Did you read that? Yeah. Slimer? Yeah. Awesome. I figured it'd be like Slimer or something. It's, yeah, it is. That <laughs> was the it best is. part of the first animated cartoon. Slimer, Slimer, Slimer was Slimer. the greatest. Do you want to watch an hour and a half movie from Slimer's perspective? <laughs> Going like that, eating yes. hot dogs. Yes, I do. No, I don't. What are you, what are you no, talking that's about? That's my perspective all the time. That was a hell of an Gosh, impression I just I'm not did. a ghost, Chris. and that's my perspective, just shoving hot Chris. dogs in my mouth and stuff. Yeah, of I course. I was going to say, that's Rob at home. home. That's Rob at home. So He's your nickname like, is T-Mag. Yours is Slimer. That's right. Here we go. How did I get that? I know you like it. I'm Edward Puppet. Edward Puppet. Sure. L. Ray. Do you guys watch the channel L. Ray? Nope. Okay, L. Ray. The... Uh, uh, from Dust Till they, Dawn. Yeah, From Dust Till Dawn was on there, and they do have a season two coming out. Well, they have decided they like this horror thing. They picked up older horror series. Freddy's Nightmares is going to be on there. Yes, it is. <laughs> I know. I'm sort of saying. Freddy's Nightmares is one of the worst TV shows ever, but I ever. watched every episode. <laughs> Well, and look why? And why? Because Freddie is on and it. And Freddie outro. And then they had the then they had the history of Freddie. And I think it was the it might have been the pilot or this the premiere. Yes. Had like how he became Freddy Krueger. Right. An and it's like him it's and court and everything. And great. It awful. Yeah. It's awful. But it's I love so it. good and bad. But you know what? This is great news. I'm gonna totally watch it. It, it was they, on chiller for a while. They also had um they picked up the Twilight Zone, you know, the later series one. Ooh, that's right. good. That's it not is. bad. The one that, like, Forrest Whitaker was on. And yeah. those, they've got that one. And they had a couple Forrest. others that I looked at, and I was like, these He's are all pretty princess. sweet, He's man. A ninja. So, El Rey, if you don't have it, get it. Yeah. It looks good. Last King of Ireland. What do you guys got? Scotland. I have one. Fantastic. So, I, uh, I've got a bad one. Go ahead. Unbelievable. Universal Go. finally pulls Pacific Rim 2 from its schedule in place of... Right. It's Pitch on. Perfect it's, Three. It's on. <laughs> so earlier in the week, no, it yeah. said that it was possibly. It was. It said it's possibly done. back. And and it's well, still. Guillermo, Guillermo said it's not. I mean, he he flat out came out and said it's not. Right. The reason it's pulled is because they have him lined up for other movies. Right. Right. So of course they're so going to they put officially pulled the plug on it. But then there but was another one that came out after that that said. He, it's not really dead. Yeah. It's just pulled it's, from yeah. the lineup. He didn't say it's done. He it's said he dead. can't do it. Right. Right, right now. Right now. Right. Because right. yeah. he had his and window he said and it was he's done. he's going to do it. Right. Because he said whatever he's working on is then going to lead into that movie. Right. Then it's going to lead in hopefully to Hellboy. You know, he's going to hire Israel who does our stop motion to do his, his stop motion. It'll be very cheap. Yes. And, uh, <laughs> you know, that'll be, that'll be what he does. So <laughs> That'd be awesome. Guillermo doesn't have to direct it. He can free up his time that way. Hire Israel. It'll be a little bit on the low-budget side. I'm just telling just you right now. Just a little. Lower, uh, lower than low, but that's yeah, okay. Yeah, lower than low, like our you stuff. You know what, though? He'll make a ton of money off of it, then. I'd watch it. I'd watch an Israel Sheehan Pacific Rim 2. It'd be awesome. Especially do because it. my voice would be He's in it, He's out I'm there sure. watching. Do it. Yep. Yeah, right. Two, three thumbs up, Israel. That's what we're doing. <laughs> uh, did um, you see that Jeremy Irons and Brendan Gleeson joined yes, Assassin's Creed? Assassin's Creed, yeah. Uh, Talk about those three. That's how how can it be bad? Well, it can Michael be bad, Fassbender, yeah. Jeremy Irons. You're casting a movie. Oh, yeah. This is yeah. awesome. Yeah. This isn't like oh, we might be doing a movie. Well, this they, is like they got the a lot. Up. They got a lot riding yeah. on Assassin's Creed because they're they're so they're you know they're talking about theme parks and everything. Right. Yeah. Based on this movie, so they're 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 thinking this is going to be their billion dollar franchise. Imagine they supposedly they have a hell of it. Oh, that would be great going from building to building on a. Ride I've heard they ride. have a hell of a script. Awesome. So I mean, if they've got the good script, they've got they've got they're putting all the pieces in place. Who's directing? I can't remember. Israel Sheehan. There you go, Israel. Israel. It's gonna be Back. stop motion. <laughs> yeah. Michael, he just paints Michael Fassbender's face. And just, <laughs> <laughs> He'll take out clips of him from other movies. That'd be awesome, though. Uh, I would love that, it. I would actually cool. watch that. <laughs> I love his videos. That'd be great. Um, no, I had I had bad news. This can't be. You always have bad news. No, this cannot be good. 
Fox is developing Lethal Weapon as a TV oh, show. Oh, yeah. That could Ugh. not be good. Hold, Every episode, I'm getting too old for this. CBS is bringing back MacGyver. Yep. That's, that can't yeah. be good either. <laughs> that could not this be good. That's like bad. watching one of those 70s movies where they pull out the calculator and they're watching like, this is the coolest invention ever. It's like, yep. yeah, my phone can blow up the planet. Uh, yeah. You know, look, right. Here. Oh, oh, yeah, MacGyver? <laughs> I can Google how to do that stuff. Yeah. Oh, hey, oh, let me watch a YouTube video we're, on how to make a starving. bomb. Hello, like, Amazon? Did, Drones you over MacGruber? a pizza. Yeah, yeah, Wasn't there a MacGruber? What? MacGruber, yes. What? Basically this? Well, do you know what MacGruber. MacGyver is? Yes, I do. I know what MacGyver is. That was one of the best running you jokes shame. on Saturday Night Live. Oh, MacGruber? Best yeah. MacGruber. I'm just going to tell you right now, no. This is going to be bad. This is how bad America TV's got. I mean, it just... We're rehashing the bad shows. Yeah. I mean, MacGyver. No, I liked, I liked the A-Team film. I yeah. thought that was great. That was a lot of fun. They, they want to make that a TV series. Don't. Um, don't do this. Don't do Lethal Weapon. That's going to be so bad. You yeah. can't tell me that's going to be good. Well, you might tell me, but I'm not listening. <laughs> nope. <laughs> it might be, but no, it's not bad. So, hey, uh, another big surprise, Terminator. Yeah. Is on hold. Is on hold indefinitely. Terminated. It's on hold. They it says, it. it says it's on hold indefinitely. Yes. Right. So. Forever. It should be subtitled forever. Well, not, that's yeah. not true because Goodbye, they're going to oh, run somebody out. will do it. They're going to run out of some ideas and say, hey, we can do no, that Terminator. What? It was a good movie once. You know, so. you know what will happen? It, it's just what happened the last time. Whoever owns the property in order to ca- maintain the property, if they decide they want to keep it, within seven years, they're going to have to reboot or do something. It's on hold right now. What they're saying is, we're not following this trilogy that we just tried to set up. Let's wait. Let's let the dust settle. We'll bring it back another way. Forget Arnold. Forget the whole thing. It'll be a complete from-the-ground reboot, but probably not for five to seven years. Yeah. Either that or they'll sell the property and somebody else will do it. That's what's going to happen. Or they'll happen. do another TV series. Yeah, it's not going that, away. Yeah. It's just away for now. Sarah Connor, Connor Chronicles. That's a good show. That's a pretty good show. A friend of mine played a Terminator on that. Yeah? Yeah. He got killed. Oh, spoiler. That's, that happens to a lot of your friends in shows, as right? I found out. So. It's the it, same guy. It's, it's the same guy who just died on, on Gotham. Um, Todd so, Stashwick, yeah. yeah. Uh, okay. I have one. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> hopefully, is, uh, is yeah. it Idris? Or Idris, Idris Elba? Idris Elba said that his character will be groundbreaking in the Star Trek franchise. But... He's Idris Elba, of course. Because he's the bad yeah. guy and he's a black guy. He, that hasn't happened on Star Trek yet. He's groundbreaking. Fan, he's fantastic. He, is, yeah. he can walk in and sit on the toilet and be like, hey, that's the best acting job I've ever seen. I, it doesn't matter. Yeah, no. it's just going to be, he's going to be good in it. I'm going to enjoy the movie. He, people bust on the last one. I like the last one. The last I like one was everything. Good. Why wasn't it? it Except was... for the Lethal Weapon remake. I like everything. So, yeah, yeah I'm down with this. And yeah. I don't know what groundbreaking is going to be, though. Well, it's just trying to hype the movie up pretty much. He well, gets the girl instead of Kirk. Groundbreaking. Spock gets he killed. He makes Spock cry. Groundbreaking. Imagine if he was a Klingon. He digs a hole. I, I never listen to these actors when they talk about their own movies. Because no. they're, they're, yeah. they're hyping it. They hype it. So they can sell tickets. Yeah, and then they it. always talk about how everybody was the most amazing, wonderful person ever that they worked with. Yeah. Trust me, if I'm getting interviewed about this show, I am not going to be false and say that. A little. Uh, Jeez. Nice. <laughs> Ouch. Oh. We, before we run I out of time, to. I, I want to talk about the Martian that just opened up. Yeah. You saw it. Yeah. Um, saw, saw it in IMAX 3D. Un, yeah, me too. Un, unbelievable. Now, Rob no, and I, I talked a little bit yet. about it. He hasn't seen it. I haven't um, seen it. Th- there's been, I don't want to say mixed reviews. I've, had, I've talked to some people that didn't like it, and I go, and I looked at him, I'm like, what? I mean, to me, it... Somebody described it as our generation space odyssey, 2001. I, I think saw that. I, I saw think, that. One. I think it. I think it could be considered that. The problem is that space odyssey was so, so was out, out there, there. See, it, it, and now it's so. I mean, we're so past that. I mean, 2001: Space Odyssey and 2001, we were beyond it, that. It was groundbreaking that movie. That, yeah. This The Martian is not groundbreaking by any means, but it was a really good movie, a really good contained story, a great. Like everyone in it did a great job acting. Yeah. People, people who you like, and it, it had humor in it. And it was the funny part of it is the people who are notoriously known to be for being comedic yeah. weren't funny. Oh no, <laughs> it was like yeah. they weren't the not, funny ones. Not at all. Uh, special effects were great. 
and, and Matt Damon, man, I can't say yeah. anything better. I mean, I, that's what you were talking about, Oscar worthy. He he's up there for this. Well, he we were talking be, about earlier nomination. I, he was fantastic. I don't think he did the best job in that movie. I, I Idris or uh, Chio, uh, uh, Chinoel, 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 He was unbelievable in this movie, and and he'll be Baron Mordo, yeah, with Doctor Strange. Uh, he was he was great. Mordo. Um, the the whole thing we kind of talked about it. If you've read the book. The book read like a movie, and if Ridley Scott would have done it, it would have been incredible, but it also would have been like five hours. So the one criticism I have of the movie is they had to gloss over some of the scientific parts, and they just kind of summed it up, which was okay because they got to the meat of it and they got to the gist of it. But right. if you read the book, it's like what he did is unbelievable because he stranded on a planet trying to survive. He's the Mars yeah. MacGyver. He is. He, he is and he, he was. And he has to figure out how to survive. Basically, he... They, Mars they, leave on, they leave him on Mars because of, of an emergency. He has to figure out a way to live for four years in a place that they, he can't grow food. And he has like a he has I don't like know. A he's got water now. Exactly. Yeah, that's true. It, it, well, I mean, you know. And right. If they would have incorporated that, that would have been kind of cool if they could have. But it was unbelievable. And I think a director's cut of this movie will be even better. Fantastic. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. they can include it, some of that stuff. So I, I look at it because my wife asked me because she she has not seen Interstellar yet, and of course Matt Damon's in both. Spoiler alert if you haven't seen Interstellar. Um, <laughs> and she asked which Is one that was a better. Spoiler alert. Yeah, I think so. I didn't know Matt Damon was in Interstellar. Then when he showed up, I was what? like, Whoa! You mean, you mean on the credits starring Matt Damon? It wasn't a. You mean Interstellar? Did it say Matt Damon? There was Matt Damon in the. If you look at the. I didn't there pay was, Yeah, he was on one of the posters. Yeah. <laughs> was he? I yeah, he was. I think mean, okay. we all talked about this when we reviewed the movie. Like, we okay. did not realize Matt Damon was. In we it. didn't review the movie. No, I'm talking about like on my well, show when we reviewed the movie. Le- oh, show. you were on League of Drinkers because yeah. it probably yeah. realized he was in yeah. it. I don't. I didn't remember him. Be- okay, I right. try to go in a movie spoiler free, so right. maybe that's why I didn't pay sure. attention. Good thing you're on this show. It's true. Yep. <laughs> but Good thing like, you're on I League think I think the Martian. I think the Martian did it right in that in that regard. I don't want to say by dumbing down, but kind of condensing right. the science stuff. Sure. I think what Christopher Nolan tried to do is try to make it super science heavy where people were lost. Right. Okay. Yeah, but, but Interstellar was epic on, the, on that other scale where it was just this bombardment of all this science to prove what happened. And right. then figure, I mean, I love it where they just do it and then figure it out at, at the end, which I thought was great. I, I, that's, I, I, that's what I really liked about Interstellar and the way that you interact around the black holes, but the Martian is, you look at this guy and you're like, oh my gosh, how did this guy make it? Yeah, it's, um, it's Castaway on, yeah, on Mars. But it's not Castaway, because it's better it's, than... It's right. It's, there's it's, no Wilson, there's no there's no Tom Hanks getting crazy, I mean... No, there's no, he can, he can actually grow food and catch food. Yeah. There's none of that, like you're seeing signs. Tom right. Hanks could have lived the rest of his planet. life, yeah. He's, there, he's 50 million miles away from anything, nothing. Um, and yeah. anything that could, you know... Bad stuff, it can happen and it, will happen. It did happen, I mean, yeah. you know, they make this stuff. I, I remember from, I, I can't remember one of the space movies. We're, we're sitting on a ship. Space balls? Give it, you know, built by the guy who did the lowest bid. I mean, you're, you're in, like, the rock bottom of, you know, they do it just enough to get by. Yeah. I mean, they build this habitat for them to li- be there for a month, and he has to live for four years. How does that work? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Stuff breaks. Stuff Crazy. happens. Crazy, yeah. You know, it, it's, it, it's a recommend. It's a must-see must um, see. to me. Agreed. All right, I think we're done. Um, we're done. I have I, one I, quick one that's not oh, good. Oh, no. Enough said. Disney, Do it. Disney is trying to uh, get an Enchanted sequel. Have you ever seen the Enchanted yeah. Christmas yeah. movie? Yeah. I love yeah. Enchanted. Really? So they're so trying to talk smack about it. Yeah. It is a good movie. Yeah. And okay. they're trying to. And, yeah. And McDreamy they're trying to was so dreamy. McDreamy. <laughs> McDreamy. <laughs> okay. All right. We're learning a lot about a little um, today. Yeah. You know what? Susan Sarandon was fantastic in she that was. Film. Yes. She was. She was great. I, I liked Enchanted a lot. I what thought is, it was great. Fun. What isn't she great in, though? I mean, yeah, right. Um, she was great in Friends. And as we're ending it. She was. No. So was Elliot Gould, the whole, the whole, all of them. The, <laughs> friends. Uh, do, one do, do, last do, do, thing do, as we're do, just do, getting do. out of it. Uh, <laughs> we've talked about the Walking Dead flight. 462 is the name of that. Ooh. That web series right. they're doing. Nice. It debuts, well, from where we're at right now, when you're listening to it, it won't be, but tomorrow, October 4th. Wow. You can okay. go online to amc.com and see the first episode. The episodes are one minute each. 
So you're going to get this, like, trickle out. So annoying. But you know what? <laughs> I'm so watching it. Yeah. And, and they're going to do it also on the show when Walking Dead comes back October 11th at the commercial breaks. And you're going to get, like, a minute of it, a minute of it. It's an interesting little marketing idea. That's... A character from the flight ends up as a main character on oh, really? Fear next cool. season. Nice. So I think this is That's a cool nice. thing. And I, I, you know what? Give me more. Yeah, that'll be. Well, are they going to show him out the window seeing the person watching him fly by? I don't know. I didn't make yeah. this. I hope so. Well, no, that yeah. was, you know, because to, to lead into it. The... They show them watching the plane plane fly by. Yeah, I hope that's what it is. It's that plane that went by. That would be awesome. All right, that's it. Thank you for listening, everybody. That's the end of This Week in Geek. Um, Give your social media real quick. Chris? Uh, uh, Blue Box Cafe 176 on Twitter, Twitter, Instagram, uh, Facebook. All right. Alil? At L-O-G-E-E-K-Z on Twitter. All right? Nope. Nope. And I am at R Southgate or at SMG Pods on Twitter. Or you can go to our website, Southgate Media Group. Dot com, currently being eclipsed by Edward's hat. Uh, and uh, you can also follow us on Facebook. You can follow us on really any of the social media. And join our email list. We need people to join that. You can do it right from the website. That's it. Thank you, Blue Box. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. Enjoy Doctor Who tonight. Doctor Who's coming Thank you. Up Make sure you hashtag Edward Puppet. No, Edward you, Puppet. You ed- hashtag Edward Puppet when we're talking about This Week in Geek. For Doctor Who, hashtag Blue Box tonight while you're Blue doing Box? live All right. yeah. Thank nice. you, YouTube, Google Hangout, and Meerkat. Thank we'll you. See you next Saturday. Thank you.